Of course I support uh, because the consequences of rejecting will be more dire than what we are talking about. You reject uh, the finance bill, it means we default on our, on, our, on, our, on our debt. You default, it means a collapse of our financial system. That means you go to the bank, you have 100,000, but you're being told maybe you can withdraw only 5,000. The pensioners who've invested into government bills and things like that, they will not be able to access their pension. A total collapse of our financial systems, like happened in countries like Greece, uh, Zimbabwe, uh, Argentina. 20, 30 years is what it will take us to get out of such a mess. Therefore, the consequences of a reject will be more dire than what you're talking about, which unfortunately people don't seem to appreciate. What I do appreciate, though, is that uh, the protesters, the young people, they have diagnosed properly that there's a problem with the country. Where I disagree with them is what they are proposing as a solution. Rejecting the finance bill is not the solution. In fact, the finance bill has part of the solution to the problems they are talking about. Securing our industries, making them that we give them undue advantages of our imported goods so that people can set up here and give jobs to our young people and so many other things uh, that we, uh, we are doing. What we should focus on and perhaps needs to come out of this process is how do we reduce on our spending from that 3.9 trillion uh, that exists to whatever number is uh, achievable and have a plan over the years. We cut down on unnecessary uh, expenditure which unfortunately I've said aren't much as of this point because we're paying a lot of debt and also uh, perhaps deferring some of the things that you're doing which can hold new projects, roads, water. It comes as a very big consequence because unfortunately in every constituency, including the constituencies of those that are voting no and are rejected, the MP is under pressure still being told where are our roads, where is electricity, where is water. You know, so people need to understand that there is a connection between these development projects and the taxes that we pay.